Hello, everyone. Hope that you're all doing well today. I just wanted to bring you the update for Brittany Watson or Brittany Anderson Watson. Um, two hours ago, Burton S. Staggs, he is the reporter that's been on the case, giving a lot of detail, putting stuff out to the public. Um, he's done a great job. He put an update out for her that says the body, it says body identified. Kevin Watson has been arraigned and charged with first degree murder and the clerk's office in Haywood County was arraigned on a Friday night. The warrant reads, defendant did commit the offense of first degree murder when he premeditatedly and willfully shot Brittany Watson being the sole cause of her death. The offense did occur in Haywood County. Watson was ordered held without bond. He is due in court on January 31st. Brittany Watson was reported missing approximately two weeks ago. It is believed that Kevin Watson shot and killed his ex-wife on January 7th. Kevin Watson's truck was found near the Hatchie River the following weekend. A search was started on January 20th, or I should say a search was started, and on January 20th, he surrendered to law enforcement. Later that evening, he reportedly assisted law enforcement in finding the remains of his former wife. The sheriff tells me that the body located has been positively identified as Brittany Watson. Fingerprints were used to identify her. And so I just wanted to tell you that it has been confirmed that who they found, it did come out to be positively identified as Brittany. And I just ask that you all pray for the family um, and really both families involved. Uh, it's a tragic end and we never want to see this happen ever, ever. And so that is why uh, we'll continue to do what we do and, and hope that we can um, find some of these people before it's too late. Please pray for the family. I'll talk to you all in my next video. Love you.